Greetings, I'm Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Earthbound. On um, the last episode, our new friend Jeff traveled a very long way in a spaceship made by his father to rescue Zoe and Cross. And the last thing I did before coming back was see these two guys run into this tent. Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that I actually run around, I just mean that I'm frightened. Conditions in this town are getting worse. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. I left my wife and my kids at home to escape to this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. Well, I don't know. You said you were evil, so... Maybe you're just evil, so alright, that was nothing. It just looks like there's more people that are trying to escape to this tent. I don't know why they think the tent is safe. I also... hmm. Yeah, I could use a little bit of a pick-me-up. I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'm just gonna stay at the hotel because that always goes well. I never get waylaid by a crap ton of zombies or anything. Ugh. Huh. Only two beds. I'm assuming poor Jeff had to sleep on the floor. Alright, looks like we got another one from the Zombie Herald. Two human kids escape by somehow opening their cage. A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. A boy in a red cap... Hey, it was you! Yeah, so I think I should get a refund, to be honest. Although, wait, I didn't pay any money that night. Damn it! No. No, uh... No case to sue, then. Let's take my monies. There we are. Now, I have to be honest, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to figure that out. I should also maybe... I was gonna say I should free up some space, but eh. We have a little bit of space. I can always eat consumables. Since I don't know where to go, I'm going to go to the uh, one-stop shop for all video game information. This weird house. Yeah, I want I want your tip because I don't know what's happening. Yep. Do you know about that mysterious tent that appears in the south of town? I don't know, but it looks kind of strange. That's it for today. I mean, I thought I already went into a tent. I guess they mean the south south of town because uh, that other tent is like smack dab in the middle, so let's go south and see if I see anything weird. I mean, that probably qualifies as weird just because I'm pretty damn sure that wasn't there before. Oh, oh, you're just a regular dog. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, this qualifies as weird. A boogie tent? Yeah, I don't know if I want anything of that. Uh, Alright, first act, protect Zoe from physical damage. Second act, um, shoot you with ice. Third act, spy on your defenses. TK freeze! Alright, well that didn't do too much. Uh oh. Ha! He just tried to neutralize PSI effects, but there weren't any. Alright, spying on the boogie tent. Vulnerable to fire. That makes sense. I'm gonna light the tent on fire. I'm also going to cause it insatiable agony. Now, this would be a good point to use bottle rockets. Unfortunately, I don't believe I kept any bottle rockets, so, you know, that's a problem. Let's have to shoot it with my stun gun. PK fire! Agony! Ooh, that was a nice solid hit. Uh-oh, PK Flash. Okay, well, this is a problem. <laughs> also, Jeff is a little bit useless right now. Um, so, the you can't stop crying severely decreases your accuracy. So I'm going to use it on me. I'm going to use a healing thing on me. I'm just going to keep on using fire with Zoe. And, I mean, no one was injured. I think he's just going to miss when I attack, but what else am I going to do? PK Fire! Uh, well, I'm assuming Zoe's shield is gone. I don't know. It had no visible effect on Cross. Okay. So, I guess healing doesn't fix crying. That's not good. Well, crap. Alright, we're going to keep on with magic attacks then. I don't know what else I can do. Uh, 
and Jeff is unfortunately... They, they get... Look, it's great. He finally joins the team and they do something that makes them entirely useless. Boom. Oh, good. I was just gonna turn Jeff into the healer then, you know. Cram uh, bread rolls down Zoe's throat. Bit. <laughs> the hell was that level? I got nothing but HP and PP and I didn't get much of it. Alright, maximum 9 for him though, that's pretty good. Alright, so that happened. Oh, hello! Dug around in the trash can. There's a jar of fly honey inside. Alright, I don't know what that's gonna do. Attract flies, perhaps? Hey, kid! He looked like he was running away from me. Well, let's bash his face in. It looks like the crying stopped after the battle. So that Holy crap, Paula just smashed his face in with a frying pan. <laughs> that was fierce, girl. I mean, Zoe. Was Z Z Zoe's what I meant. She's gonna get pretty annoyed that I keep on calling her the wrong name. <laughs> That's what happens when you play an entire game and just keep all the default names, except for Pooh. I do not keep Pooh as the default name, because that would be dumb. Mirror. Well, I could escort you home, kid. But meh. I, I, I seem to remember needing to go here. I don't know. Oh, so this weird object was flying around and crashed in the graveyard. Looks like it was straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Whoa, did you come here in that flying contraption? Well, Jeff certainly did. Yeah, I, um, this, this wasn't helpful. But I have, I have fly, fly honey. They were clearly guarding that. Must be important. Let's see. Help. Oh, it's Belch's most favorite food in the world. However, it smells really nasty. We're talking major stinkage here. Well, hopefully there's a lid on the jar and we can just keep it, keep, keep a lid on it. Well, you know what I like to do when I don't quite know what to do? Oh, wait, wait for a phone call. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it'll help you or not. <laughs> it's called zombie paper. You can use it to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. All you need to do is place it on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, like, and then the zombies get stuck to the paper. When they move around the inside of the tent, you can catch a lot of zombies that way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that were terrorizing an area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked the March Pizza Delivery Man to deliver the f zombie paper to you, Cross. It should be there pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Beep. Well, that was like I'm like 100% convinced that Apple Kid has a surveillance camera on me at this point. Ugh, while delivering a pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver something to someone named Cross, who was wandering around three d no one else knows about this, right? Look, let's just pretend that you're Cross, and I'll give it to you. Oh, hello, Cross. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Cross, no matter what. Zoe got the zombie paper. <laughs> That's right, Cross. <laughs> well, I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids thingamajig. Well, goodbye. Ah, well, you know, gave it to Zoe. It's pretty close. Yeah, I, yeah. Apple Kid, Apple Kid is monitoring me. He clearly works for the government. Right. Laid out on a tent, and the next day, a lot of zombies may be stuck. Craziness. Well, I better find a tent. Boop. Let's see. We should try zombie paper or some type of trap. We have to do something. You're going to use this tent as a trap. 
Well, we'll give it a try. It's better than nothing, I guess. Maybe it would be a good idea to get all the zombies into a single spot. Yes, that's what is what we're talking about. You can do whatever you want. Just save my life. This guy at the pizza joint told me about a new product called zombie paper. So how do I use it? Oh, I probably just use it. <laughs> I hit the use button. Zoe placed the zombie paper on the floor. Alright. I guess I'll go and take a nap. I don't know what else to do. We're supposed to wait a night. Also, is it eternally night here? Because that's crazy. Yeah, let's stay. Yeah, those are the two that we really needed to get. I don't know why we couldn't just kill them, I guess because they weren't mean. We could only fight the wicked. And those were some nice zombies. And even zombie dogs are going in there. Well, that happened. S sir You're working hard, even though you're young. Uh, let's see, it's different than normal. <laughs> Boogie Tent Falls! Young human to boy! <laughs> I don't know why the zombie herald is being delivered to humans. Is it a scare tactic? I suppose that would make sense. Let me see, is there anything... There are some things that I want to deposit with my sister. So let's get X-Cargo Express. Cool. That'll be good. There's some things I just really, really don't need right now. Sometimes, though, you'll give away, like, an important story item, and then you'll just forget, and then it's rough. Or there'll be an opportunity where you need it, and then you have to go all the way back to town and get it, and I'm probably opening myself up to that, but whatever. Um, okay. I'm gonna give them the backstage pass, which I think is completely useless to me forever. I'm gonna give them the bad key machine. Now I want... Oh, and the pack of bubblegum. Alright, that's not... <laughs> Once again, I don't think that'll ever be useful to me. Yep, you can take all those storyline items away from me. Excellent. And we, of course, should give uh, this very important ruler to Jeff, who can use it, except that he can't, because the ruler does nothing. Ugh, we caught a lot of zombies. Ugh, it's really gross. You might... You might not understand my saying this, but... Poor zombies. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. Arrest sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? We did it! Did you look in the tent? Haha! <laughs> we taught those stupid zombies a lesson! We... <laughs> oh. Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else, I just want to save my own skin. Maybe you should get the hell out of here then. Zombie paper really works, so I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, <laughs> that wasn't a nice thing to say. Yeah, that was a little bit creepy. You're the enemies of all zombies, you monster! No response, well it looks like some of these guys have re-died. I'll blame you for the rest of my life. You're dead. I'll blame you after my death! If I try to get away, my body will just fall apart. It's because I'm a zombie. <laughs> Could you help me? Maybe not. Humans are such cowards. I don't care if I pass away. Ha! <laughs> I'm dead already. I mean... I feel a little bad, but for all I know, they've killed people. So I don't feel as bad when I think about that. The important thing, once again, is that I can get the hell out of here. Also, the important thing is I think this guy sells bottle rockets. Alright, let's see. Oh, and a toy air gun. He's gonna lug this around. That would be Jeffy Boy. I do want to equip it here. Yeah. Take the stun gun. You can totally sell that. Excellent. I'm glad we could work something out. Now, wasn't there... There it is. Bottle rocket. Can I get two of those? 
How much space do I have? I have enough space! Alright. Two battle rockets, please. They do approximately 100 points of damage. Excellent. Uh, no. That's good. Alright. Eventually, Jeff is going to start repairing those broken items. Also, there's a broken machine that I left at Escargo Express, but I, I don't think I'm going to take that quite yet. Maybe in a while. Uh, Alright, so there's no more zombies, but there's certainly ghosts and evil garbage cans. Always evil garbage cans. Oop. That was the wrong way. <laughs> I really, I really thought I had to go. Whatever, I guess I'll clear these guys out. Yeah, I knew you weren't just a garbage can. Trying to fool me. Alright, so I guess I'm going to open with a nice, uh, a nice light PSI agony. Not anything too heavy, just a light one. We're going to then uh, freeze that guy and probably instantly destroy him. Oh dear. Well, Jeff isn't moving. Boo! He was the least important one in this attack anyway. Whoa, he didn't die. I really thought that would kill him. Well, this will kill him then. Whoa, he just dodged the magic attack. What a crazy face. Nope, no ghosts are gonna help you. Right, they really feel like groping Jeff for some reason. It's because they're scared of his new gun, they don't want me to try it out. Ah, now someone can. Bow. Hey, new guy! Pop! <laughs> you just got hit by my illegal gun. Whoops, bam. Gotcha. Very nice. Oh, baby, defense went up by four. That's actually a pretty huge ideal. I ideal? Yeah. And I realized the power of healing beta! Jeff is getting some terrible levels. Again, I don't know if the levels are random or if it's the same each time. I never, I never determined that. All I know is where I gotta go. Gotta go down this ladder. Going down the ladder to a creepy place right down the ladder. Kinda wanna need a skip sandwich so I can go down the stairs faster. Ah! Can't wait till they have skip sandwich deluxes. Eh. Is there a coffin down there? Should probably check that out. Well, it looks like these zombie dogs escaped justice. Let's try, uh... Yes, I, I'm pretty sure zombies are weak against fire, if I remember correctly. Boom. Eh, pretty weak. <laughs> and flies are weak against baseball bats. What, what, what? Ooh. Pretty brutal biting attack. A lot of misses. Jeff, alright. I was gonna say, don't let me down. Actually hit, please. And he's just screaming. Alright, Zoe, level 18. Very nice. Now, uh, is this an enemy or a treasure chest? It's totally a treasure chest. Ta-da! There's a skip sandwich deluxe inside! I called it. I called it with my mind. Well, we're gonna use skip sandwich deluxe, which they totally gave me because they knew that these stores stairs were annoying to walk down. Now, if I give it to, like, Jeff... Yeah, it's all right. It'll still work. We what? Oh, just <laughs> I was thinking about maybe trying to blitz through them with my skip sandwich, but dangerous. Don't want them to get me. So we got a zombie and his pet zombie dog. There we go, urban zombie. I'm the urban zombie. I got the funky flow. Oh god, well, Jeff is dead, and I don't know, I don't know what I can do about that. Well, I do know what I can do, I just don't know if I want to do it so soon. I'm pretty sure the hand-aid uh, brings people back to life, it's just, that's a unique item that you never get again. But I should probably use it, I don't know. I don't know, isn't he just gonna die again? Damn it! I was trying to get a front attack. You're a back attack. Front attacks are easy to get. And this pause is, 
if Zoe goes down, I have to leave, because I can't revive two people. That's definitely something that could happen. Oh, she could go down right now. Nope, alright, I got lucky. She could still go down, though, so let me, um... She has so little health, health uh, healing alpha should work. Usually healing spells, like, it, it moves your order up. Like, you'll, you're will you likely to heal before people attack, which is good. Alright. Let me just do this. Silver bracelet. Alright, let me just see. Goods. I think I'm going to try it. Hopefully I don't regret it, but let's see. Handaid. Handmade bandaid. Heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. I really hope I'm right about this or I'm just wasting it. Crap, did I seriously waste it? Yeah, no, it's gone. That that present from Paula's mother is gone. I really thought that was a revive. Instead, it was just a healing item. Probably a really good healing item. Well, balls. I don't think I can just go around with Jeff dead. Um, as much as I want to give this to Cross, just to increase Cross up to max. Should probably give it to her. Oh, she can't wear the silver bracelet? Really? Yeah, only Cross can wear the silver bracelet. Jeez. Alright, fair enough. Let me just see what's in here. Might be a bad idea, though. The wrist is... Oh. Maybe there'll be a place where I can revive Jeff. Am I... Is that wishful thinking? Or is it just gonna be more and more corridors of doom? Oh, God. Since you had the fly, honey, I considered you a friend. But you're actually just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. Uh-oh. You're not Belch, are you? It's Mini Barf. Nope. Okay. Um, I have the fly honey though, right? Yes. I'm gonna use the fly honey. And Paula is going to pray. Yeah, well that actually helped a little bit. <laughs> Which is good, because I meant to do that. Hmm. I thought the fly honey might distract him. In any case, uh, time to do horrible psychic things to him. 19, damn it. Pow. Good hit. Great. Well, now we have no choice but to use magic, because we're likely going to miss everything. Alright, that didn't work. Let's try fire. That's more like it. I don't know what that was. Bam! few more of those and hopefully it'll go down, because this is actually the last one I can do. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be out of magical power. What? Though she has PSI Magnet, she could get more magical power. There we go. He was defeated. Poor Jeff. He really hasn't, uh, had his chance to shine yet, has he? There we go. Oh my god. PSI Fire Beta. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. <laughs> oh, my. Where am I? You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? No, there's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? Can I have something that <laughs> brings me back to life, please? Calorie stick. No. If you ever want to fully recover, there's a village of interesting people just ahead. Go there and take a good rest. I've heard that their name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. I enjoy helping those who are in trouble. Though I charge them for my trouble. Oh, great. I'm, if this is a full valley, I'm going to have to haul a dead Jeff along with me. Which is even more rough, because he's not going to get his uh, experience. So now zombies and frogs are just living together, apparently. If only I had someone who could tell me the weaknesses of specific enemies. <laughs> oh, God. Alright. Let's just bash his face in. Let's try, um... PK Fire Beta! Nice hit. Nice, solid hit. Oh, well. Hopefully this valley isn't very long, because if it is, there's gonna be problems, aren't there? 
Because <laughs> I'm down a mem- whatever. Paul and- Paul and Karas can probably do this just fine, right? PK FIRE! Farm zombie, huh? He looks exactly like the urban zombie. Is it just pants color? Is that the difference? I think so. Let's try ice. I have a feeling it'll be less effective, so I'm not committing as much to it. Oh my god, it's way more effective! <laughs> so armored frogs are weak against ice. Cross is level 25! I almost want to look for more butterflies. Maybe I should look for more butterflies. If I run out of magical power, I am screwed. Yeah, let's do that. Butterfly? 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 Oh no. If that butterfly doesn't come back. Butterfly? Oh, now all I've done is cause these enemies to respawn, haven't I? Alright, well they didn't respawn either. At least there's that. <laughs> oh, I'm playing with fire here and I don't just mean Paula's ability. Oh my god. Four things? Uh-oh. Alright, um... Let's attack the zombie. You attack the armor frog. This should kill it. I'd be shocked if this didn't kill it. Smash! 400 damage! Oh. Farm zombie started laughing hysterically. Not the best use of his time, but... What are you gonna do? Um... Let's attack you. Actually... I'll attack the zombie once again. You use... Uh, PSI fire. Well, she's out of magic. I'm gonna have to start having her use magnet. Good. Thank God no one came. Can't handle anyone else. Cross dodged quickly. Um, PSI magnet alpha! Alright, I got three PP. He's dead. Ooh. Whatever, we just gotta kill him, then I can heal, heal uh, Zoe. Excellent. Ooh, we're gonna level up nicely, it's just Jeff is left out in the cold. As we haul his unconscious body around. Holy crap, maximum PP increased by 10. That's amazing. Heal up. She's got 90 HP now, that's pretty good. There's a bomb inside. That could be useful. Alright. Can I... Vanish you? Haha, <laughs> vanish! Vanish, knaves! Just gotta make it through this, man. We're, we're, we're gimped here. A protein drink? What's a protein drink do? That I do not know. Help protein drink for building a stronger, healthier body. Gives you a blast of nourishment when you're fatigued. If you drink this, you'll recover about 80 HP. I'm sad that I used up the hand aid. I, I really am. No, no, no. No, no, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I didn't want to mess with it right now. This zombie would be more effective if he stopped laughing hysterically. Well, this is the part where I waylay an alligator. Do -do 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 -do. Yes! <laughs> Got you from behind. Alright, it's just a plain crocodile, alright, so it's not an alligator. I stand corrected. We're gonna freeze you. Boom! Nice de- wow. Oh, it's solidified. I thought I was gonna say that I defeated it. Now I defeated it! <laughs> Smash. Now I figure I'm supposed to go in this cave, that's why I'm going up. Because there might be treasures in- uh, Oh god. Well, I guess there's gonna be a picture of Ghost Jeff. Because pictures are taken instantaneously. I'm a genius photographer, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera ready. Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Hmm. Alright, well... That's the thing that's gonna come up later. <laughs> but I can't do anything with her now. Also, Jeff's ghost appears to have buttons and glasses, so... 
That's a bit weird. Who knew that he was using spectral glasses? Oh god. What are you doing here? Oh god, it's a cockroach. I'm gonna spray it with, in with insect spray. Across his body solidified. Did not work. I, I really thought that that would count as an insect. Cockroaches are insect, right? Right? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Excellent. Smash. This music. It's so whimsical. There's a bottle rocket inside. Oh, I couldn't even utilize my battle rockets in that fight. It was freaking... Uh... What is happening? Oh my. I act like I don't know this music very well or know what's going on. Okay, there's a thing. We feel groove. I hold me, Mr. Saturn. This place are all Mr. Saturn. Once upon a time, we were many, many. Everyone slowly are less, less. Hmm, yeah. Boing. So Mr. Saturns are one of the iconic uh, things of this of this game. They're kind of like Moogles from Final Fantasy. They're they're just weird faces. I know there's a place where I can I can fully recover and get Jeff back. So I'm glad I didn't turn around. Is it here? Do you want slumber? Yes. Ko. Well, Jeff is still gone. That wasn't it. I'm feeling dandy. Uh, I just, <laughs> I just need, I just need that thing, the thing that helps me. We look like same. I give you special thing. Not now, Zoom. Give you on way back. Doing. Bye later. Base, secret. Base behind grapefruit falls. Password? I tell. The late man say, say password. Then stand still. Wait for three minutes. He's not kidding. The password to get into the place behind that waterfall is to not move for th three literal minutes. It's really dumb. Scary, scary guy. Boing. Great food falls. Scary barfy. Go and la la la. Ding. Boing. Sorry. So doing you have $180, we trade secret herb. Boing. You have $1,780. We trade Horn of Life. Now the Horn of Life would bring back Jeff. But... What? What the... T Why, game developers? Why do you even do this? There's no reason for it. What I need is the hot springs. It should be hot springs. I distinctly remember hot springs. I can't seem to go to the hot springs. There's ladders. Lots of friends taken behind falls. Why? Why? Dwing. Okay. Well, another thing. I don't know if I can get to the hot springs yet. Three days, zombie full. I saw bad stink behind falls. Dwing. I don't know. The way I'm reading, I, I hope it's not too annoying, but whenever I read it in my head, I was always talking like, Like, I always thought they sounded insane. Hiya, hi, you come by, boing. You can sell too. Me, Mr. Saturn, doing. What can I do for you, Zoom? What do you guys have? I No, stay away from the slingshots. Slingshots are evil. I know that now. Uh, we want Great Charm Silver Bracelet. Why couldn't... It... I swear, I tried to equip them with silver bracelets, and it didn't freaking work. Let's see, Red Rimmed. Want to give this to Zoe. Cool. Yeah, you can take the regular ribbon. Now, I'm not going to have enough for the Horn of Life now, unless I can get a bunch from the ATM. It doesn't look like I can use the Hot Spring, which is how I was going to bring back Jeff. So that could be bad. Alright, minor increase in defense, but what are you going to do? Um, yeah, I need to... I need a Horn of Life, I think. Even though it's going to cost a pretty penny. Oh, I can afford it. Alright. It's going to take out pretty much all of my new money, but... There'll always be more money. Now, please tell me that you sell Horns of Life. Cool. Uh, Horn of Life. Give 
that to Zoe. Uh, no. What I need is to get Jeff back so I don't have this horrible red background. Alright, yeah, so let me just make sure. Horn of Life revives a friend who has fallen unconscious. In addition, it also works on poison, nausea, cold, sunstroke, falling asleep, unconscious card, and feeling strange. Alright. This is effective when you have paralysis or have been diamondized. Now, they weren't being facetious there. All of those are actually stats within the game. So he used the Horn of Life. Jeff was revived! Good, everything doesn't look dumb now. How much money do I have left? Not a lot, probably. Um, stupid bionic slingshot. Alright, let's give Jeff a great charm. Let's screw the defense spray. It's a one-time defense increase, which is decent, but I don't... I'll have to bring it all the way to the boss. Let me just get rid of it. I mean, I can't get rid of the ruler. That's very important to have. You get the great charm. That's pretty much nothing great. <laughs> that was a waste. Plus, now Jeff is carrying more because he didn't have anything equipped on his body before, it seems. Which means I guess I can't give him the silver bracelet. Oh my god, it's also complicated. Fine, I'll sell the ruler. You can even use it in battle, though. And then you can measure the enemy. It's very important for knowing how tall they are. Whatever. It's more important that Jeff doesn't die again and then I have to haul his corpse around a valley. That, alright, see, that was important. That increases defense by 10. Very good. Peanut cheese bar? How could I not buy that? I'm gonna have no room for anything. Oh, whatever, I can always throw it out, right? Um, I think that's it for this episode. The main thing that happened when I came here, I mean, I couldn't, uh... I couldn't use the hot springs like I wanted to, because it looks like the ladders are messed up. But I did revive Jeff, even though it cost a crap ton of money. And I found out the password for the waterfall entrance thing, so that's a really important thing. I guess, did I go in here? Ooh. It's gonna be a bunch of things I can't carry. A protractor? God damn it. We got sudden guts pill. Sudden guts pillar is a really cool item. Damn it! We're gonna get rid of this croissant because I'm keeping the sudden guts pill. I'll tell you that much. Broken spray can inside. <laughs> That's probably just a broken defense spray. Oh well. Let's just go in this house so that I can claim that I fully explored the village. Damn it! I'm an idiot. I, 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 I spent a lot of money when I didn't need to. If I just checked this house before, I could have revived Jeff that way. Damn, I was so convinced it was a hot springs, I didn't even check. <sighs> so I wasted a bunch of money, but that's okay. Important thing is that everyone's alive and happy. And the other important thing is that I am going to go to the waterfall and wait for three freaking minutes. Ick. Anyway, I am Cross Knights, and I'll see you guys next time.